shuffle to it. <laughs> it's doing something. It's either spinning or coming apart. I don't know. This this is literally a stock vehicle with whatever turbo you put on it. Because we have no map sensor. No map. We have no idea what it's doing. So the injectors are literally staying wide open. <laughs> like they're just opening and not closing periods, so. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just trying to make him freak out? We just have a problem. Yeah. What's going on? We got a problem. Oh, there's a, there's a PCM on there. What is it? Yep. Is it the right one? We'll find out. <laughs> it's time for the dyno. Look who's back. Super Tuner Tanner's back. That means we can put Uncle Rob on the dyno. We're shopping. You're gonna be doing a little bit of. Order our pendant though. Yeah. What? I don't know what they're looking at. They're doing Look, some weird stuff. Look. We're gonna be doing some questionable things today. Yeah, sure. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll figure out what the stock fuel limits are. Like we're ordering this. Stock. Like <laughs> no, stock. no, nothing done. Stock fuel rails, stock injectors, we're gonna order stock pump. <laughs> like literally, we have not touched the fuel system because um, we want to put that money towards Diamond Jesus. That's that's what we're doing. <laughs> no, no, that's not what we're doing. But we are going to see what the untouched stock fuel system will do with a turbo on it. First, I just got to tack up this downpipe and then uh, load this up. This is probably gonna be the most regular thing that's ever been on this dyno. No, I had a cobalt one time. Oh, so we got we, <laughs> we got a cobalt beat. I'm, I'm cool with that. No, this would be a fun one to test the two wheel versus four wheel drive with because it's so low power. Yeah, that as long I, as you're 50 50, we're fine. I'm pretty sure the mechanical transfer cases are 50 50. Yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't want to test that with the Escalade but you know, when that thing's gonna make 400 on a good day, yeah. I think it'd be. Cause I brought some F-150s up there. And it was fine? And some Raptors, yeah. Yeah. All right. we'll, we'll have to give that a shot then. If the 4L60 survives, let's go get this thing ready. Are you ready to dyno? No, he's not ready. He doesn't want that. Are you ready? No, he's not ready. He's fired. Oh, he's ready. Okay, job dog, ready for the dyno. You don't like the mariachi music? Good, me neither. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just gotta weld the downpipe to the flange to anchor it down. Um, I'm not gonna fully weld it because I'm not exactly sure that's where I wanna keep it. I'm just gonna tack it uh, in a few places so that it won't come off. Yeah, it's probably gonna leak a little bit, but you know what, the exhaust dumps pretty much right down there anyway. So it's inherently gonna get fume leakage under the hood regardless. So we're not a big deal. Um, this is just temporary until we can run it, make sure everything's okay. And then I'll throw it on the lift and you know finish the downpipe and connect the exhaust. I just don't wanna nail anything down until I know I'm cool with it because I wanna make sure it's easy to get in and out once a flange and the secondary connection is already on there because I still gotta add a flex pipe and all that stuff. But I'm just gonna kind of orient it where I think it's good, add a few marks with the Sharpie, pull it off, and send it home. It's dino time! What time is it? It's dino time! Let's go. Fire up the old Fronius, tack this thing down real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Now you can weld. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the can. The famous can. Whoa. Oh, you. 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 Gas tank is really low. We're just gonna throw like five gallons in here of some fresh 93 because I'm pretty sure I put 87 in it last time. The gas is in it. Uh, John's gonna go do some data logging in the V and I'm gonna see if I can finagle this thing between Ashton's truck and the 632. Heat it up on the dyno over there. Let's fire it up. This is a diesel habit. Like I turn the key and I let it sit there for a second for the glow plugs that aren't even there. It's just, when I see this interior, that's just where my brain goes, because my Duramax is exactly the same. I'm gonna double check the transmission fluid level real quick 
because in Bradenton at Cooper's, uh, we put this CSF uh, transmission cooler in here. And you know, when you do that, you lose some fluid in the lines and the other cooler and stuff. Well, we put more in to move it around, but we never really like double, triple, quadruple check the level to make sure it settled off where it's supposed to. So obviously before we start ripping on the dyno, uh, I'm gonna do that. While this thing is gonna, you know, transmission is gonna melt at some point in the not too distant future, we wanna actually see it do some stuff before that happens. So we're not gonna be super dumb with it. We have to go on a little side adventure real quick. The weirdest thing just happened. John Lawson, owner 777, got a call from a random doctor's office and said, we have car parts for you here. And he's like, what? And then they, they said it had my name on it, so he gave, him, gave me the phone. And somehow, my entire fuel system for Uncle Rob got shipped to a random doctor's office 25 minutes from here. They said that the box had one of their doctor's names and everything on it, but when they opened it up, they were like, what the heck is all this stuff? And they found the packing slip, which had all of like my name and all of our info on it. So they called John, and that's how they got a hold of me. Strangest thing ever. But I'm not exactly gonna let an entire Detroit fuel system just chill out at some random doctor's office all day. So we're gonna go get it um, right now. I've never had anything like this happen before. All my stuff got sent to here. Random doctor's office. And it has a relabel on it with like the doctor's name and stuff over the label that Detroit's put there. FedEx must have just goofed something on their their shipping line through the wrong label on my box and you know thought that these doctors needed some super neat injectors in a fuel pump system for a 2003 Yukon. Got it now, that's the important part. You ready for the dyno? I don't think he really cares. Do you feel at home? No. Do you feel like my dad? It, no, I feel like an uncle. Well, this is. If, can you imagine me riding around in the back seat of this thing at like eight years just, old? Watching you just move this thing around was hilarious. Smell like an Uncle Rob. Dude, like if <laughs> it legit smells like somebody's uncle in there. <laughs> if Uncle Rob had a smell, this is what it would smell like. <laughs> if YouTube had scents, it would enhance the experience of your videos. <laughs> I guess Tanner read the tune on this thing. Apparently it has a P59 PCM, which I don't know anything about. He says they're not that good though, but we'll make it work. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing my best. We're gonna find out together. We're gonna find out, <laughs> yeah. Can you explain to the people what's going on here? Uh, we're making unicorns happen. What do you mean? You know, some ones and zeros. What's the P? Oh, the P59, the tuning. Yeah. It's got a P59 EC or PCM in it, and it's just not a favorable one. They're known for bricking themselves. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I mean, this thing kind of looks like a brick. It's going with the theme. It's brick colored. Is it ready for choo-choo noises yet? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on speed density and let her eat. You ready for some sauce candy, man? <laughs> Are you ready to get back to Yellow Belly? Yes, I am. I was wanting to go last night. Rain yeah, rain. me too. And then it rained. A lot more than rain happened last night. <laughs> this is a this is a big big deal. A lot of people miss. See this brake torque management? Yeah. See that one? Yeah. That right there will make them not do burnouts. Really? That one to a zero will make this thing not do a burnout. Now it'll do a burnout. Even when they're stock. Even when they're stock, that so will change it from being able to not go from a burnout to a burnout. So you, even if the bone stock, you change that one to a zero, you can do burnouts? Yes. Well, so. seeing as we now have a turbo kit on this beast, can't validate that theory. One of you guys, go try it, see if it works. What what happened? He brings it. I didn't break it. it yes, you did. Flash. What do you mean? It won't flash, it just says it's not found. What Every time you try to Fight me all I feel like we're working game. backwards. Detect protocol failed. Yep. So now we gotta pull the ECM out. Can we like go to a junkyard and put a 411 in it or does it not work like that? It doesn't work like that. Why you not? have to swap some pins and all kinds of stuff and it ain't worth it. I don't know what this is. This is probably old flat towing stuff. Yeah. 
This used to tow. This used to get towed oh. behind the family motorhome unit. Oh, look at that custom ground up there. Hey, this is for my fan, Dale. <laughs> look at the water. <laughs> oh, Watch out. <laughs> oh no, don't tell Logan, she's gonna freak out. Why? She loves that headlight. She loves putting it back in. It's like her favorite thing in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanner Sims removing the PCM. Because he bricked it. I, th I mean, we like, look, it's not your fault. Look what we, looks we like got someone's already ass wires going into someone's it. Someone's already done pinned something into this. That's weird. Yeah, that might be like Stay the brake through. controller or something on there. Yeah, that probably is that brake controller. All right, hold there. that. We it's have a problem. Yeah. What's going on? We got a problem. It's okay, Rock. You'll, you'll finish the race when I'm done. On dying. the day of my daughter's <laughs> wedding, you'll come here on the day of my dino appointment. With a brick PCL, and you would have asked me for my forgiveness. I'm trying to do the accent, but I'm trying to not laugh. Good. You gotta like, you gotta like get the frown on your face. Like, you come to me, with a dude, with and like, you, you know, be feelings. completely in a, like, can't hear anything. You come to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take the ECU apart. Yes. Oh man. Dissecting. I've never Thank seen you. the inside of an ECU before. Really? No, I've never had to take one apart. I've never messed with anything to Gen 3. Oh man, you're about to see some cool shit. You see how the dust that came out of him? <laughs> yeah, it's souls okay, of the damned. Hold that back, don't let that, any of that touch. That, it was crazy. What came out the year that this car did? Baylor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what year is this? Is that 03? Yeah. You were born in 03? Maybe. Oh! Uh, no. What 2004. This, what year? Wait, like, no, no, what year were you born in? 04. This so, car is older than you. Yeah. yeah, well, this thing was probably built in 2002 oh, if it's an 03 model year. You know what? You're in a lot better shape than this car is, uh, I gotta say. Yeah, we'll drag you through the salt for 16 years to see what you look like. <laughs> that could be a problem. We are playing high stakes. Played for keeps. High limits poker right here, bro. So now we see if it works. Still said can't find. Timed out. Get off and try again. It's okay. You take your time. I believe in you. We believe in you. I feel like he's getting revenge on me for putting him on the back burner for so long. What are you doing having fun at Yellow Belly? You should have been putting me together a month ago. I'm like, well, you know, Yellow Belly's kind of a good time. Plus, if I go watch you race and you break your car, it doesn't cost me any money. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Ow. This isn't good. So, it's 5.06. We found a salvage yard. About 15 minutes away. That has early 2000s GM trucks with PCMs that we can go dig through, try to find one. But they stopped letting people in at 5.30. We can still get this done today. But everybody is playing with dogs and little john is on task let the record show this li little john is focused and no one else is that never happens this is a rare occasion you guys coming or what yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> little john is on task is he coming yeah he's already outside he got all the tools and everything he's going on an adventure Ugh. my favorite truck here we go. The boys are back in town. <laughs> you got everything you need to get it out? Hey, don't break the seat, dude. Hey, move the seat up. We got a, I never had this many people in here. I don't know what it's like to actually have friends. Okay. Hey, last time I drove this thing, it was not a good day. Yeah, you freaking. That's the power in the back seat. It was not a good day either. You, That's when that, that GoPro went flying. Yeah, yeah, this freaking GoPro went to the stratosphere. And, and my trailer hitch went into my tailgate. <laughs> yeah. So we made it to the place. It, it's basically the Alamo. We have found like the Alamo of scrap yards here. And it's looking promising. It's just a field of dreams out there. Dude, let's get the forklift. <laughs> forklift, donks. We got a truck here. Um, I don't think there's anything left of this. Oh, there's a, there's a PCM on there. What is it? What is it, Tanner? Is it is it a, is it the right one? 
we'll find out. But the suspense continues. Oh, sorry. Was, was it, was it Nope, it's red and blue. Dang. Dude, look at this Suburban. Two-tone. Custom exhaust. Here's one. Blue and red. Blue and red. So, what blue we're looking for blue here blue is the color of the connector that comes out of it. Is blue and red, is that an 0411? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, blue and red is the 0411. With something in green is the P59 that we're looking for. Um, I don't think this is the one. Man, this Suburban... This Suburban looked like it was probably freaking sweet before whatever happened to it happened to it. How sad. How sad. I don't like looking at that. This is like really Ford eerie looking. These import foreign, foreign cars, Fords, Fords. Crazy, bro. Yeah. I've never been to one like this. Like no. This. <laughs> Dude, every scrapyard I've been to has been like in the dirt and then stuff is just sitting there not like yeah this is a relatively clean scrapyard it's it's different <laughs> look at this look at this cut truck <laughs> 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 Holy shit. watch this one this is gonna be it i don't even want to try <laughs> we don't know who paved all of this? Like, why is this whole thing all paved? How, how did this... I feel like this had to be something else first. Yeah. Why would they pave all of this just for a junkyard? Well, I want to come back just to walk around. Yeah. yeah, there's useful stuff in here for sure. Look at that. Is that a Ford Ranger? The rays of sunshine are pointed right on this glory pile. Oh my God, Dude. look at it. Dude. Bro, look at that. The green tent. <laughs> oh man. I kind of want to get that just to bring it back. Just to have a yard ornament. Hey, look at this Escalade. Is this Escalade right here? No, that's a Ford, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Ford. Fuck. Yeah, it just looks like Cadillac because it's got the grill smushed down. Does this even have a PCM? No. How about this one? Okay, red, no. It's red and blue and it's half missing anyway. Wrong body style. Let's see what this one has in for. Come on. Come on. Red and blue. Damn it. This is a choo choo custom truck right here. It looks like it went choo choo into a freaking wall. Red and blue. This one doesn't even have one, I checked. You said there's more over here? Did you just leave your truck idling all day? All day long. <laughs> Eight hours. How many times has this happened? Twice. <laughs> Eight hours of it running. Well, it happened around two. Okay, well, you know, it, it, it'd be like that sometimes, but you know, there was like nobody here. <laughs> you just left your truck running. <laughs> Hopefully one of those works. Dual ECMs on your cord. <laughs> One for each bank of the motor, BMW style. Anything interesting happen? We may or may not have found the right components. We don't know yet. How do we know what's the right one? We don't. We don't. We don't. That's the We're gonna try that one. This smells like diesel. I keep smelling diesel. All right, where's the ECM or PCM? Over there. <laughs> Like the DMNR. The DMNR. It's a 50-50 shot. So, from what I understand, there's really no way to identify what these are conclusively unless you plug them in or you know exactly what it came from based on the VIN number. Somebody's going to hit the comments and be like, there's a certain number on the back. Well, if that's true, we don't know about it. Because this isn't exactly something that happens all the time. So there's no reason for us to know any of this. We didn't go to Google hardcore, so. Yeah, we literally had 10 minutes to make up our minds. Okay, are we gonna go look for one or not? We didn't have time to look at anything. Otherwise, we would have had to wait till tomorrow and you guys wouldn't see a video as quickly. Yeah, it's on here, YDNK. Yep. <laughs> Is that what one of these says? No. No. Wow. Yeah. So neither one will work. 
gonna say green. Damn it. Oh. Oh, 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 hey, we have a job for you. What? No. <laughs> no what? We, we can't figure out how to get it back in. Yeah. Oh, I can get it back in. That's a lie. I was just gonna have her do it because it's like her favorite thing ever. But we made that whole trip for nothing. We just, yeah. Yeah, this stinks. What do we do now? I don't think we can. Dude, I don't know. We looked at every single one in junkyard was blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. Even Tahoes and Avalanches, which are like the same thing as this, what this 03 Yukon, for whatever reason, decides to just not be that way. What a shame. Well, I mean, it did just chill for like an hour. Could we try the, try. the you know, the goofy nonsense again? I hope this works. If it does, then you guys got to watch us run around a junkyard for no reason. If it doesn't, you guys got to watch us run around a junkyard for no reason because we got the wrong thing. We had to try. What just happened? The battery terminal was loose. Are you kidding me? No, from your fans. Great. The freaking crusty battery terminals. So you, you wiggle the freaking connector and it started working. No. Look, cleaned up. No. You gotta be kidding me. Well, flash. Maybe the, the funky thing you did made it work. We'll just, I'm just, I'm rolling with it. You did something. Great success. Does that mean we're still gonna get to dyno this thing? Possibly. Okay. We're what? Back together now. Oh, one, one step. Okay, Logan, can you put that headlight back in? We fixed it. He's ready for a go, right? He, he wants to hop in. Hey. Yeah, kids in the back, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, all the stuff from Braden is still in there. Like, I never unloaded it. Really? Yeah. All my welds are back there. Really? Yeah. Well, that's where you've been hiding. Yeah. Did he throw up in there? No. Okay, good. He probably smelled Loretta. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the boost is gonna sound like if we just put it back on. If you can plug in the put it back on. We're ready. So it runs again. What are you doing? Are you just trying to make him freak out? It made blow off valve noises. Yeah. It looks good. Look, we're trimming fuel. Perfect. No more mass airflow. So the O2s are working? Yes. Awesome. Ashton gave me one. It didn't look the same as the other one, but the plug was the same, so I sent it anyway. It looks good. It's trimming fast. We're like good for the dyno now, so once we get it on, we'll I'll make a small pull, see where we're at, and adjust feeling from there. Sweet. So now we get it on the on the dyno. Yep. Oh boy, it's time. Once we get it up on the rack, I want to change the oil filter because it's still got the old one in it. Okay. Because I figured I'd let it run for a little bit to catch whatever debris was in there from drilling that hole, and then put the new one on with the new oil. So, yeah. He's like a champ, dude. He doesn't, he doesn't even flinch. You don't let two kids have a golf cart. <laughs> oh dang, I go to the bathroom and they don't even wait for me. Super Entertainer's on a mission. Uncle Rob is entering the dino cell. Just a monumental moment right here. Checking the transmission fluid level. It's we about use, halfway. We can probably use a little bit more. Maybe. I had a little more. I'm glad you just started doing this because, like, I wasn't really that pumped about it. I know you were. <laughs> but he, he, John cracked the filter loose and walks over there to get something else. And we come back and there's like a puddle that's like dripping. I didn't know he dropped. I'm like, dude, what's that? And we're like, oh no, what is it? And then he's like, oh, it's the filter. Like, <laughs> I didn't know he cracked it loose already. Did you find this one too? Yep, I did. Shove her home, Dale. Uncle Rob enters the dyno for the first time in world history as a turbo truck. Wow. You know what's wild? I've been here for nine months now and this is the first time any of my vehicles have ever been on this dyno. Getting it all situated on the dyno. Okay. How are you feeling? Surprised, I didn't think it was gonna work. I thought it was still in four wheel drive. Uh, you know, yeah. None of those buttons work, none. <laughs> well. My uncle said for the entire duration he had this, he never put it in four wheel drive. So the current Yukon XL Denali he has now is two wheel drive and his justification was he never used it on this one. 
he owns the thing for 12 years, so it's very questionable if the four-wheel drive even it really works. We'll have to figure that out later. He looks like he looks like a high school kid that's like acting like he can drive in his mom's car. <laughs> like, look, look how young he looks. Like he looks tiny. Like you just go into the garage and you yeah. start wiggling the steering wheel. <laughs> Not that I ever used to do that. Dude, I did that in that, that truck. So it's all about. Yep. What'd it do? I don't know, none of them even had the dyno ready. Well, I mean, like, so you just did a, a one pull just to wait until the point where it starts to lean out, then you're gonna go back in and add more fuel? Yeah. Is that what you do? Uh, did you log that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just tuning, okay? Dude, I've never heard this thing. It just made turbo noises. It made turbo noises, it did the blowout valve. Do 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 thing, like, do -do. It's, it's freaking, we got ourselves a turbo truck here, this is cool. I used to sit in this thing when I was a little kid, jiggle the steering wheel, pretend I was driving it. Now we got a turbo on it, and it's in Texas. What we do, guys? What we do? Two ninety-seven. Dang, I already mean, making power. Already making power. I mean, this thing came factory with like what, 315 crank? So we're, we're already, we're like above even right now. We just put down a whopping 297. That's awesome. That was, uh. No boost. What should this thing make wheel bone stock? Like low twos? Yeah, low twos. So we're like, we're basically have a race car already and we didn't even do anything yet. 3,900. So a lot to go. So, like, what are, what are we. What are we doing here? Trying to throw all the fuel at it now. So the map sensor is non-existent. Is yeah. that what I understand? Yeah, it just goes to 100 kPa and stops right now. This this is literally a stock vehicle with whatever turbo you put on it. <laughs> on you, your thoughts of five pounds. I put the tiniest spring in there. It should be a 0.2 bar. So like three PSI. I so you're just you're just like. tuning off of fuel like if it's leaning out you just add fuel because yep. we have no map sensor no map we have no idea what it's doing we get to 100 kpa and that's where i'm trying to adjust it at you are a pioneer so we shall see did you just add more a lot more a lot more yep. oh man we made 297 before what do you think 350 i'm gonna say 400 450 foot pounds. Yeah, it was uh it was getting rowdy. That was <laughs> that was 4200 RPMs. Oh man. So we had a lot more to go. Is it like is there still room to add more fuel? Um possibly. I'm so pumped for yellow belly right now. Explain it. You could just explain what just happened in layman's pretty much, terms. Pretty much we maxed out the injectors capabilities in the, the VE, and when it does that, it pretty much throws it into a limp mode. Okay. So we were out of injector. So this is because it's not a boost reference fuel system. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder how much boost it's actually making. I don't know. You took a good amount and made 342 at 4200 RPM. <laughs> and the graph is like a mountain. So it's probably on its way to make 450, 500. <laughs> Easily. Well. And that's on no timing, 11 degrees. How much, how much RPM was that? Yeah, make it shift at like 39 and let's go drive it. <laughs> we'll just drive this thing around like a diesel. It'll just make a bunch of torque. This is so goofy, like I hope you guys know, Tanner would never do this to a customer vehicle. We are purely experimenting for science right here.
352, 456. You know, I have the fuel system for it. Really? In a box, just picked it up today. Just picked it up in this video because they accidentally, like FedEx rerouted it to some random doctor's office in, in like Forest Hill. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. So the whole Dietrich fuel system in this thing is sitting in a box ready to go. And huge shout out to the companies involved with this. Force Performance Turbocharger, Tile Wastegate Blowoff Valve, Dietrich's fuel system, soon to be. You can buy this turbo, it's, it's less than $1,000. I don't know the exact price at the moment. Uh, forceperformance.net, it is specifically designed to light up and work well with a stock converter bone stock LS motor, just like this is. What are you thinking? I wanted to make a full pool, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Is it making too much boost? It's just the, the injector, uh, like, the reason it's going to limp mode is the injectors are literally staying wide open. <laughs> like, they're just opening and not closing, period, so. <laughs> I'm trying to work around it. <laughs> this, this is just pure entertainment right here. This is just fun stuff. your wish, it's a diesel. If you show this video to somebody and you ask them how much you think this car makes, they're gonna say way more than that. Oh yeah, dude, this sounds like it's making a bona fide 800, 900 horsepower, and it's just not. <laughs> not yet. It will. It will. But not right now. really violent what, what did you do I did a first gear pull so it wouldn't load the motor as hard oh and not put as much fuel in it I was gonna say it looked like you got a lot of slack in those straps it moved a lot <laughs> yeah. I, I really wonder how much boost we're making I feel like it's more than what the spring is yeah like maybe my wastegate priority is not that good it's a tile right yeah that should be fun so we, we can't do anything else? Yeah, we need a fuel system. Can we even drive it? Yeah, we can go drive it. We need to go drive it. I feel like that needs to happen. We're all fixed to get in this thing. I'm yeah. getting in it. I'm gonna watch. All right. I'm gonna watch this thing blow up. I'll get in it. I'm watching this thing blow up. I wanna experience it. You experience the drive shaft, I wanna experience the open ball. Oh, <laughs> I think the drive shaft is much worse. Logan than missed all the dynoing because uh, Ruger peed in his diaper and she had to go clean him. Yeah. Dog mom stuff. <laughs> yeah. You may or may not understand. Is, is this about what you expected to happen? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think you'd actually make it shift at like 3,800 and, and like not have it go to limp mode? I, I can try, but it's <laughs> going to be difficult. Well, I have the fuel system in a box in there. I picked it up at the doctor's office today. <laughs> and you will never ever hear anyone say that again. Was the whole thing done in first gear? No. The other things were done in second gear. So you did the other pulls in second gear? Yeah, and then to get it to make a pull almost to 6,000 was first. Interesting. So you were doing the lower gears to not load the motor as much yeah. for less fuel demand. Yeah, and it was still maxing it out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, I need to find a gas tank for this thing and stuff all that Dietrich stuff in there. Yeah. Now we're gonna go drive it. You don't think it's gonna live? Uh, not even for one drive? <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, Get that on my face. We don't we don't need that kind of negativity around here. Have some hope. Good. I'm pumped to drive this thing. I feel like the bug is gonna hit me and we're gonna be putting a four lady in this thing in like three days. <laughs> this thing still has all the Bradenton dirt on it. Like from being behind the newel. Remember last time you were in the passenger seat with that laptop? 
it, it went somewhere. It was not it exploded. good. It was not good. What? We're not doing this again. It's not doing it again. Yeah, drive normal until you turn. Oh man, it makes noises. Oh, it feels like it may be marginally less slow than it was before. <laughs> Just that it parked around it like SpongeBob Big Toe style. the hood and realized we did all of this with the hood popped we're idiots pretty much it's so loud is it really that loud yes <laughs> <laughs> look at it it is just <laughs> it just squats the hooks and books Dude. when he gets on it it does like a g-body like, shuffle like this thing scoots pretty good relative to what it is and we have so much stuff back there, like a whole set, like six wheels and tires back there. That's a huge win. Today is a win. All said and done, we dynoed it. It did not break yet. And we drove it. Question, question for you guys. Could you think of any other way to have more fun than we just did with something that slow? Is it even possible? Probably not. <laughs> why is this, why, like, that thing would run like a freaking 1450 probably right now. And that was like, maybe a little better than that. I don't yeah, know. probably run 13s. You know what, suck it, Baylor's not impressed. If it ain't run in the sixes, he ain't. I say, i give it a run. F250 would give it a run for his money. Ugh. You better get him now before the tally goes up. No, That's actually, the insider here, well, first of all, go to no, Staples Auto Works, get yourself one of these. The 4060 tally counts the one that's in Uncle Rob oh, right now. Oh, you thought ahead. I didn't want to have to update the next order. That's what I thought. Yeah. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you think you're subscribed, actually check to see if you are. Because sometimes uh, YouTube shows you things that you're not actually subscribed to, but you frequently watch, and you just forget to hit the button. I do that sometimes, too. So check that out, and stay tuned because we are going to 
try to just put injectors in Uncle Rob and see how much farther we can get on that before we change anything else either. All this leech work stuff here. So that'll be the next video. I gotta get this video uploaded and posted so I can start working on that right now to get that going for you guys next time. So don't go anywhere, sit tight. I'm glad you're here.